Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be flying the version two of our FT Legacy. You ready, Dave? Yeah, let's do it. I think I need some help. <laughs> What are we going to be doing today? All right, today's really special. In the past couple episodes, we've been working really hard to build this huge 16-foot airplane. Dave, this is the biggest plane we've ever built. Yes, it is. It is beautiful, though. It is beautiful. We learned a new material, EPS foam. We also learned how to use a hot wire CNC machine and also a boat. This is something you guys can build, but something far more approachable is going to be the release of our new FD Legacy version 2, which is right here. It is now back in the store and available for you guys to build as a scratch build or as a kit. We're gonna be putting this thing to the test, aren't we? Yeah, um, I say we uh, take it out, do some uh, barrel rolls and flats maybe. Just push it to the limits. <laughs> On the first flights with this, we were really easy. We didn't know how much to push it. We also wanted to get it full in color and get it finished and braced up. Now's the time to see what it can do. I kind of cheated and yep. got online and uh, found some pictures. Oh my gosh. We got <laughs> this guy here. It. Some Southwest Airlines, I like it. That one's just kind of a generic mm -hmm. one, but I kind of like it. I like this one, that one's like second favorite. Yes. And that one's kind of along the same lines, but this is my favorite one. I agree with you. I think that's gorgeous. It's a lot of work, but I think it looks really, really nice. The nice thing with our covering film and also where the lights are gonna be, it's gonna shine right through. It gives it the red, white, and blue effect. So I love that. Okay, right. save that. Don't, okay. don't take that. That's what we're doing. Who, whose plane is that? That has to be I a... I think it's just a rendered picture. I love it. It's perfect. Uh, what we got going on here? All right, the time has come. Dave literally standing on this for what, eight hours straight, Dave? Yes, it was, it was yeah. a full day. He came back looking like an 80-year-old man. Everything on him was like <laughs> white. It was funny. Um, but today's the day. We get to, we get to cover this here. I always call this Monocoat. This is called Covering Film. Monocoat is a name brand of a covering film used in the USA that's really, really common. So forgive me if I go back and forth. So Dave sanded all this down. Today we're going to cover this. We are going to go with a theme that's similar to what you saw on a chipmunk. It's also very similar to the Telemaster scheme that I chose when I was a little kid. It's going to be stars and bars, America all the way. I can't wait to see how this looks. It's going to pop in color. It's amazing. Okay, right now we're getting ready to put some uh, cover, or we are putting covering film on the big Megalacy. Um, it's looking great. Wow. Very happy with the way it's turning out. That looks amazing. So, so what's the technique here with uh, this type of foam and with this kind of covering film? All right, well, it started off with a whole lot of sanding to make sure everything was nice and smooth. All the uh, edges and everything lined up good and all the wood spars were nice and flat with the foam. Right. After that, uh, it's basically just uh, laying the sheets down, making sure they're nice and smooth, making sure you're sh you shingle them so the wind doesn't get underneath of any of the edges. You always want to start on the back of the wing and work your way to the front. And yeah, you just uh, go one piece at a time. That's awesome. And you're using this iron? Here. Yeah, hot iron. Um, we've got it at a lower temperature so we don't have to worry about possibly melting the foam. Right. Got to be very careful when using it on foam, but yeah, it's not too bad. Why does it feel bigger now that it's covered? <laughs> that looks spectacular. And so this this blue is then going to continue back and hit the dorsal, right? Yes. I love it. Well, I'm a little behind here. I just got this part of the fuselage done, but all the red on the fuselage is done. Next is the tail and the rudder. I, I think we're on the home stretch. Yeah, yeah. I have to do the bottom side of the wing still. Oh, no problem. <laughs> but got, that should go pretty quick. And our shipment of covering film arrived, so we have plenty of covering film, so we're breathing <laughs> a little bit easier that way, too. All right, well, as we say, we got work to do. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm putting on the patterns here for the windshield and then also for all the details. This is going to be red, white, and blue. Uh, we're going to have a white section that's going to come down and go back, and then inside that, we're going to have a blue section following the same contours. Uh, while I'm doing that, Dave is working on the dorsal fin for the Legacy, which is going to give us a lot more stability going through the air. Oh, that part's too loud. Well, 
we're kind of on the home stretch. Once I get this side done and we get the canopy done, it's really the stripes on the tail and then our bottom hatches, right? Yeah. yeah. That's it. All right, Dave, what are you doing? All right, so normally when we build airplanes, the batteries are kind of an afterthought and we end up strapping them in wherever we can and it's kind of a pain to work on. So I wanted to kind of get ahead of the curve on this one and uh, I made a battery hatch with a hinge on it. The nose actually just hinges down and I think we're just gonna put kind of a locking mechanism here with a cotter pin. It'll be real easy. Love it. You look happy. The last piece of Monaco just got put on. I have a little bit of trimming to do here. Gotta seal the edge. And we're ready to fly this girl again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> More so, go time. Yeah, we're, we're getting really close now. Um, one thing that we realized was we had 28 inch props on here. These are 30 inch props. It can easily swing a 30 inch prop. So we might as well give it more power, right? And here's another crazy thing. We checked the battery level of our batteries after we flew and both you and I flew two complete flights, probably each three, four minutes. Yeah, somewhere around there. We were down to 4.1 volts per cell. So basically this thing could probably easily fly for 15 plus minutes. So we're not pushing it on amp draw or anything like that. So after this, we're gonna put the wings on and give it a test fit. I got my little legacy over there all painted up. I gotta get some FPV gear in it. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. All right, one of the coolest things about the FT Legacy, especially in the twin engine conversion here, is you can use the whole front end for FPV. And this is one of our favorite things about it. I'm gonna be installing our DJI air unit right in the front. And all I simply need to do is put a hole. Now, if you're new to the hobby, one thing I strongly recommend is don't mount it all the way up in the front where you have no reference. Mount it up here so you have a little bit of nose sticking over. That's gonna give you a great way to adjust your pitch and kind of see where you are in the sky. For capturing the footage, I'm gonna be using an Insta360 Go. I really don't need to see the airplane. I want the Go to capture that moment. So I'll be putting this up in the front. Is it done? Um, yeah. That's, so. that's a lie. It's not gonna be done through all the winter because we're just gonna keep adding stuff to this thing. We got we got bomb drops, lights. But is it ready to push the limits to see what this can handle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the journey this has taken us, we could do this again in probably half the time. Yeah, yeah, and probably make it lighter and stronger. Yeah. Now obviously we love building big and dreaming as big as possible, but this hobby is so incredibly approachable and we do that by using common, simple, everyday materials, mainly foam board. Our good friends at Adams Ready Board, they make our flight test foam, which is a brown foam, which is water resistant, but also if you want to build planes, you can go to your local dollar store, pick up Adams Ready Board for a buck a sheet, go to our tech channel, download some free plans, build like crazy. And I mean, we, we did use the CNC hot wire on this, but you can completely do this with just a bow and some templates. It's, it's completely doable. Yeah, we got to do a lot in a very short amount of time, but you guys can do it the same exact stuff we do, just a little bit longer with simpler tools, make it a lot more fun. All right, we got to find it. Yeah, let's do it. So Stefan, what do you think about this giant airplane? Well, first of all, I think it's phenomenal and I think Captain America would be very proud. Uh, secondly, I don't know how it happened, but it looks bigger now than it did previously. I don't know if that's because the cover film or not, but it looks massive. All right, what we got here? <laughs> all right, so this is what's powering the Megalacy here. We have 40,000 milliamps total <laughs> before 10,000 six cells. Now these fly off of 12 cells, which means we have to hook them up in series. Each motor is gonna get 10,000 milliamps of 12 cell power. That could fly us up to 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how we fly. Last time we flew with Dave and I, in the previous flight, we easily had seven minutes flight time. We landed with 4.1 volts per cell, <laughs> which is insanely efficient. What are you doing, Nelly? So we are putting these awesome InstaGo 2s on our chase quads. We're trying one new angle on Michael's can, which is showing a little bit of the quad, a little bit of the chasing. For this one, we're just gonna stick this right on the front of Jason's quad here to get the normal chasing view. Very cool. Yeah, so we're placing these things all over the plane, all over our quads. We use these things all the time. Very cool. So I'm gonna be chasing with the Legacy V2 that you guys can build. You're gonna be flying this. Yeah. And then you're gonna push the limits. And I think I'm gonna land it, and if it's still in the air in one piece, maybe we'll play past the transmitter. Perfect. Awesome, brother. So yeah, I'm confident. You asked my original question. Am yes. I confident it'll fly? I'm excited. I think it's gonna fly great. This is a whole new area. We do have a quartering crosswind. You remember what happened last time in the quartering crosswind? <laughs> um, we have safety. Uh, Lee, you're, you're in charge of grabbing your daughter if uh, something goes weird. 
I will definitely uh, throw people out of the way. Uh, if I have to throw them down on ready board runway, we will throw them down. There you go. And speaking of ready board runway, this is where we teach people to fly. This is where we fly a lot of our park flyers. Cool thing about this big monster, it flies slow enough, we can actually kind of make it exist in this area. But we also have a beautiful long final. We'll set right above this tree, bring yeah. it right in. And uh, with the accordion crosswind, if it's coming this way, wants them to turn us, just put it in the grass. Yeah. Boom. Right, well, good luck, guys. Oh man! All right, Dave, Josh. <laughs> We're so excited. The time has come, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell you, it's all worth it now. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Um, no matter what happens, we built a beautiful plane. Yeah, and we learned a lot in the process too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is gonna be really, really cool. And uh, we got our plans. Next thing to do is fly. We've been stalling a little while, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Nerves. All right. Sorry. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> Shake it out. <laughs> Hey, as Ian always said, transfer the shake to the knees. Yeah, take take the wiggles to the knees. <laughs> the, uh, you know, All right, so so Stefan, you're in charge of guarding our bodies. Yes, I, I will uh, I will literally just rip you backwards yep. if something starts to go wrong. Lee has moose. The other guys are I can I can see they're behind the pilot station, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Looking great. All right. We ready? It's gonna be right. fun. You're gonna blow me back. All right, so Dave, are you getting up first? Yeah, I'm going first. Uh, quads ready? Are the quads ready? Okay, right. uh, Michael and Jason, let us know when you're both up. All right, Dave, you okay, got this, Dave. bud. All right, ready? All right, coming in the air. Here Big we go. Plane going. <laughs> that looked amazing. <laughs> that was up in the air in less than like, I don't even know, like eight feet. How'd it fly, David? Oh, she's flying amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get a throttle to keep you from blowing me like a tumbleweed. <laughs> All right, oh, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a second here she's to get trimmed out. You just tell me when. How should feel? So it's what's, it's what's crabbing getting? quite a bit. Crabbing? I think it's just the wind. Okay. Yeah, there's it's a lot of more wind up, up high. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm going to hit my flaps and see what she does. Wow. Oh, wow, she's close to my mic. Feel good, Dave? Pretty good. All right. All right. Are we good? Yeah, yeah we're, we're right. good. Jason, you on me? Jason is up. Oh, Dish, I see you right there. I'm just going to go to you, towards you. <laughs> okay, I'm like stopped, I think. <laughs> yeah, you're you're like a mile out. You may want to turn. Yeah, I, I am now. <laughs> I, was, I was climbing. <laughs> Man, Dude. I should have adjusted my dual rates. I'm going to be terrible with being really jittery. I feel like I'm a fighter escorting a bomber right now. <laughs> it looks incredible. Are you, do you have your flaps on? No, not right now. Really? You're slow. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. Wings, dude. That, was <laughs> that one's close. That was real close. How's, it, how's the view in there, bro? It is okay, amazing. I'm, it is I'm around behind you right now. It is now. crystal clear. Just don't chop me up. No, I'm, I'm way up. Listen. What are the golfers thinking? That has to be the question. We need to put out cards. <laughs> right. Say, dear golfer, what are you thinking? I don't think I'm that low. I'm like 200 feet. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not super low, All but right. he's low. No okay, low. I'm lined up. I'll try to keep her straight. Turbulence. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was almost oh. there. Whoa. Nope, too high. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. <laughs> so I got I got something I've been obsessed with since we've been building Vipers with John Overstreet. I want to do a mid-air refueling. So I couldn't do a wingtip touch, but maybe I'm going to do a rollover, by the way. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I like it. <laughs> All right, I'm landing. Okay. This is your moment. All right, I'm gonna take it around. When I get back into the wind, I'm gonna come, go down to that end of the field and take it up and try to do a wing over. Okay. Hopefully we don't hold any wings or anything on the downward. My biggest concern is the tail. When it comes yeah. time to put side load on it. It's a lot stronger, it has a carbon Okay, carbon I'm building up speed. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> it Here we go. Heading up. Are you full throttle? Yeah. Okay, turn it. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah. Can you pull out of that? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I was like, like, that looks scary. Dang. No problem. No problem. All right. I think we need to do a loop, buddy, but I think oh. we need more height. Go on up. Go on up, Dave. All right. I'm going for a loop, guys. Here we go. Ooh, that wind's pushing me. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh, oh, that is terrifying. Whoa. Well, you got your loop and your parallel. <laughs> Holy cow. 
So you didn't Ooh. have enough speed to fly it through a loop, but those motors pulled it through the loop, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Oh my golly. Wow. I think we should I try to uh, airplane. just pop it up on its nose and see if it'll, uh, if it'll sit hover. there. Yeah. yeah, get yourself let me, let, into yeah, the Yeah, let me get over that way. The there we go, I'm gonna pop it up. Hover, 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 hover! Yes! 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 <laughs> Not quite enough tail authority. <laughs> it has it real. has the power though. All right. Yeah. How's your how's your roll authority? <laughs> um uh, it's squishy. Do you want to try doing a roll? I could try a roll if you trust right. me. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh All yours. Oh, Ooh, yeah. My hands are frozen too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're flying, bro. You, you did it. One big turn and we're gonna do a roll. This is the uh I coined the phrase, this is the Captain Captain America roll. Oh no. No way. <laughs> it's not happening. Oh, Did you see that? It was it was it was gonna be really spongy. It, it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm sorry, guys, but that is one thing the make he cannot do it at said, all. It said. No. Did you see that? Yeah, that you was like, full deflection, and it was like oh, that was full. That was I full you were deflection. Just testing the waters. All right, up high for a flat spin, and then we're landing her, right? Yeah, yeah, we're we're probably getting on the eight minute mark on batteries. Yeah, I'm, so that's I'm probably full safe. Full throttle the climber, so. All right, guys, you all ready? Five, oh. four. Three, two, one. Oh. And that's it. <laughs> that was awesome still. <laughs> All right, well. With the big one. <laughs> oh, She's God. coming home. Oh, that's funny. Client I climactic. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that the Megalacy has going for is size and that's it. That's it. <laughs> I had dreams last night of knife edge passes and inverted low buzzes and not today. Yeah! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes! Great job, yes. Dave David, great job, man. What an awesome journey going from the beginning, learning hot wire, foam cutting, learning EPS, doing a new release of the small one, and ultimately going as big as we've ever had in the 12 years of our history. So, what an awesome day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. let's go unplug and uh, yeah. start on the next project. Friends, don't forget to hit that subscribe bell. We're less than 10,000 subs away from hitting 2 million. When we do, we start our project on the next biggest plane we've ever done. That's a B-17. Again, laser tag, explosions, lots of airplanes. We really want to celebrate where you guys have brought us. Thanks for being part of this family. See you later. All right guys, so obviously you've seen we've had a ton of fun with this giant Megla C here. And you've probably also seen a bunch of these Insta360 GO 2 cameras placed all over across this giant airplane. It's because they're super light and because you can get awesome camera angles without having to do too much work, which is really cool. On top of that, there's a giant sales campaign happening right now where you can get 10% off your go-to purchase. Plus, if you use our link in the description below, you're actually gonna get three free gifts, which is a lens guard, an ND filter set, and a mount bundle, which is really, really cool. So again, it makes everything super simple. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Go have some fun with these go-to cameras, and we'll see you guys in the next one.